Welcome back and hello if you are new, it's great to have you here following our journey. If you didn't see last week's video, Zach and I brought a boat. We were hit with a storm the first week on board and catapulted quite hard into the harshness of living on a floating bit of fiberglass on the ocean. However, despite the difficulties we faced this week, the underlying joy that accompanies the start of living out a dream makes fear, doubt and uncertainty seem the weaker component. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. You last saw us properly in Swansea, so let's start from where we left off with moving our lives from a house to a boat. <laughs> Just moved onto the boat and that was a big process we've got stuff all around us yeah it's been a big two days of packing moving everything out moving finishing everything a on job, finishing two jobs finishing two jobs but we made it and we're on our boat a bit windy a bit windy and we haven't got any food so we're pretty hungry we but some welsh cakes. we've got a lot of welsh cakes <laughs> locate oh, the I welsh think. cakes to yeah. mm. so us and our boat i can't really believe it yeah me neither this is a pilot bird. You're like this. It's got a plug socket in here, Zach. Does it? It's got USB chargers. That's so good. No. That's a perfect little combination fit there. Why doesn't that one shoot? There you go. Yeah, new beginnings and our boat. We have literally dreamt about this, haven't we? This is what got us through the longest nights and long shifts and saving. We saved so hard, you guys. <laughs> this did not come easy. Like, we worked so hard. I'd probably say this is like one of the best days of my life, though. You think? Mm -hmm. Cheers to that. For the best days. New beginnings, new adventures, goodbye and good luck. Dear Zach and Becca, we are so excited to watch your dream become a reality. You have worked so hard for this and deserve every minute of joy. Aw, have the best time ever and send us lots of photos to make us jealous. We can't wait to come and visit you both and see the boat. Enjoy every second, we love you lots. Yes, hope you like the gift. Sorry, it's a bit battered, but it's an antique, so you know it will last. Getting even more battered. Aww. Aww. It's a compass. Aww. That's beautiful. Bon voyage. Oh. <gasps> From Swansea. You guys have to see this. That's really nice. That is so special. If you're watching this, thank you so much. We missed you already. What are you doing, Becca? Um, I am <laughs> washing my hair, but we are, are rocking. <laughs> This is the first of many. A success! <laughs> Good morning everyone. We just had our second night and pretty much in like a bit of a storm thing at the moment. It's super choppy, the swell is awful. So we're very much like this. <laughs> But the first night, it was so calm, so peaceful. We woke up to birds and then, oh, just beautiful. But yeah, this, to be fair, the sun is coming out, but all the boats are doing their own little dance. Um, so it was a bit of a, a restless night's sleep because it was the first time we had tied the boat up ourselves. We did it by the book. We read all about how to best moor a boat for a storm and we did it exactly like that. We've used lots of springers and stuff, but it doesn't stop the wiggle. 
Zach is just outside right now, um, tidying up some lines. Uh, but yeah, we are so, oh, the camera. <laughs> <laughs> that must be really annoying for you guys. <laughs> so yeah, this week we are ta just taking you along for a week in our life as our first week on the boat. We've got a really busy day ahead of us. I feel like we've plummeted headfirst into boat life because there's always a list of things to do and you guys who do sail out there will know that. But <laughs> yeah, that's where we're at. We bought a boat and we are so over the moon. What are you doing? I'm trying to sort out this absolute jumble of lines in the back. <laughs> there seems to be a lot of them. Are they in buckets now? I'm putting them in buckets. I'm gonna sort them out into like more useful kind of sh like longer lines and then like just kind of odd bits of string almost yeah. the other. Doing a great job. Thanks. It's gonna be so hard to concentrate just being able to see a full 360 of everything all the time. We knew boat life would also come with many hurdles, but we expected to have at least a few days on board without a new one. But nope, the marina where we were keeping the boat informed us that the contract we were on was running out in 25 days and that we would have to move somewhere else after that. The issue was that, just like Swansea, every single marina everywhere was full. A rather scary prospect when you just bought a 40 foot sailboat which needs a place to stay. Good morning, I was wondering if you could help me. Um, I've recently purchased a 40 foot sailboat and uh, our contract on our current moorings running out in a month's time and I'm just looking for um, other alternatives. We have it, I'm afraid. We've got a rather long waiting list. Um, at the moment we're running a waiting list for that size, I'm afraid. Okay. No, there's not, I'm afraid. Okay. Or don't in that size range, I'm afraid. Okay, no worries. Completely full. Sorry. Yeah, everywhere is. Um, everywhere I, is, yeah. I don't suppose you know anywhere that could have a space? No, I, I don't, if I'm honest. We have 85 people. Wow. wow. Where are they keeping their boats at the moment? That's crazy. I know, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, have a nice day. It was a no. Oh, poop, Zach. <laughs> you guys will never guess what just happened. <laughs> We've been ringing all day and we rung all yesterday and nowhere has any space for us. And we were getting really scared that, you know, what were we to do? <laughs> and the guy just that told us yesterday, that's a whole nother story, came up to Zach just now and said that despite their really long waiting list, they're gonna make a space for us. So it was probably the biggest worry yeah, exactly. that we had. We've got time now to do everything. We don't have to rush to do anything now. I actually can't believe it. I'm so happy. <laughs> I actually could cry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm, that's a, such a big relief. Yeah, I know. Like to buy a boat and then for them to walk into the office and then to be like, sorry, you've got to leave. And then there's nowhere to go. Yeah. And that's like the biggest fear ever. Anyway, I can't believe that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> when you called me and you were like, you'll never guess what happened. And I was like, oh no. <laughs> Oh. I said it would work out, yeah. yeah. I see, I promised it would. Oh. Yeah. We're not religious, but something out there has, has just made this boat and things fall into place. I'm so happy. Oh, I'm so happy. It's made my complete day. Oh. Now we can relax a little bit, eh? Yeah, we can actually relax and enjoy our boat. I'll tell him you made, you made you cry. <laughs> oh, it was such a worry. I know. And yesterday I cried because we couldn't we couldn't do it and now I'm crying because we can do it. <laughs> oh gosh. It's been a roller coaster of emotions. Yeah, the last 24 hours. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy. We've got so a just... space in here. <laughs> Look, we can literally <laughs> we can riff up our list of other marinas that have all said no to us and we're staying here. <laughs> Having overcome the issue of a place to keep our new boat, we then had to move it to its new mooring, just next door to where we currently were, which on paper is an easy task. With wind, tide and swell, it's a little different and it's fair to say our legs went to jelly at some points. So we just moved the boat from its old summer mooring to its new summer mooring, which is ours. Ah. And it was a bit biting at a few places, but we did it. I'm very proud of us. You proud of us? Yeah. 
and a guy came to help and he was so lovely we got chatting to him for ages the conditions weren't exactly on our side it, the wind was pushing us this way so yeah we had to be quite quick on our toes and quick thinking in order to get the lines on quick but we did it we're gonna put all these books in the marina library for someone else to enjoy oh. <laughs> Yeah. You look like a different person. <laughs> it is a gloomy, horrible, rainy day outside, so we have decided we're heading to IKEA, <laughs> which is very exciting. We brave the rain. There's not much really we can do here. I've just edited and uploaded a video, so you would have seen that the Wednesday before last, probably. Um, got a tape measure. Got a list. Yeah, got everything. Let's go to IKEA. We just got back to the boat and it is horrible weather out there. It's raining, it's really windy, it's super swelly. And we were walking down the jetty and the whole jetty was going like this <laughs> and all the boats were rocking. Oh, I think it will. Yeah? Yeah. Zach's at an interview, it's Friday morning, and he's been there an hour already. <laughs> um, but I thought I'd bake him some really simple chocolate chip oat cookies for when he's back as a little treat. So I think, this is a little scary. Let me roll my sleeve up. Oh, I did it. That was fine. That was so fine. <laughs> went well? Yeah, I think it went really well. Baked you some cookies. <gasps> did you? I thought it smelled good. Yeah, they're in the oven. Oh. Yum. First boat project. <laughs> <laughs> it's not very major one. Extravagant. Might not even work. This is not going to work, is it? <laughs> Easter egg! 
Oh my gosh! I was gonna hide it somewhere in the boat, and I was like, realistically, you're probably gonna find it before I want you to find uh, it anyway. Oh, it's my favorite. That's so cool. And my Eton mess is my favorite dessert. Oh my god, and you want me a card? What's this for? That's so nice. After a long week of torrential rain and brutal wind, the sun finally came out. Zach got me an early Easter egg as a spontaneous treat, and we decided to grab some fresh air while it wasn't raining. Be you. I thought you were racing me. <laughs> Great, now I just look like an idiot. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I know we have said it a lot to you already, but thank you from the bottom of our hearts for the outpouring of love and support this last week. We really appreciate it.